Well, if you ever hung around downtown or dealt with anyone in the arts and media in our area, you may have heard of the name Leonard Zimmerman or the word pop shop. <laughs> and you also may have seen random and unique smiley faces throughout the area. All right, smiley faces like this, okay? Yeah. Well, they're all connected and you'll be able to get the full story when the movie Happy, a small film with a big smile, plays for free at the Augusta University Maxwell Theater on Friday, February 23rd, followed by a live Q&A with the director and the subject of the film, Leonard Porchop Zimmerman, who's with us today, along with Augusta journalist and uh, Q&A moderator, Stephen Yules. So thank you guys Hi. for coming on. Hey, thank Workshop, you. nice to have you back. It's been yeah. a while. You came on Morning Mix, but yeah, yeah, I was I zoomed in that one time. Oh, th but that's right, that's right. right. Yeah. To mention also <laughs> the, the mug that we have yes. on our show every day okay. in our kitchen. We had to add it, but yes, we always yeah. have this mug yeah. right here <laughs> next to the sink. Okay, because we're always happy on Morning Mix, yes. so we need that yeah. too. Um, but Porchop, let's start with you and where your love of art kind of came from. Uh, well, um, since when I was born, I mean, it, I just. That my parents let me um, draw in church because that kept me preoccupied instead of, you know, being a distraction. But then it kind of was a distraction because I was drawing in church. But, um, yeah, I've always, always uh, done stuff like that. So, um. Amazing. Uh, and uh, you met director Michael Patrick McKinley in 2015. Where did the idea for Happy come from and what does it spark this unique smiley face? Um, well, the happy came about as, as a way of dealing with, um, it was during an election cycle, and so people are kind of not at their best, and so it's like, if I had a superpower and I could do something to to make things better, I would I would do something in advertising, since that's what I do, so I thought, maybe I can get people to smile at each other, and so instead of saying smile, because it usually ticks people off, I said happy, because it reminds you that you can be happy, so you don't have to be, it's not a command, it just is a reminder, so, yeah. Um, and then I did a TEDx talk, and that's when uh, Michael Patrick McKinley saw that, and then he's like, this needs to be a movie. And then it happened. Look at all of this yeah. right now. And Stephen, you've been a big part of the media and arts in the area for some time. Tell us, where do you come into this story? Well, you know, uh, I've known Leonard for a long time. He was friends with my sister. And when he came back to town, he started working as a painter. And, uh, and I really responded to his paintings. And so I covered him as a journalist, as a painter, and, and we became friends uh, and became close. And when they started making the movie, I showed up in the movie. Um, and and uh, we did a Q&A when it was first released. Um, so really, I've just sort of been riding his coattails. Uh, for years and, and plan to do it as long as he wants. <laughs> as long as he wants. Yeah, as long as I am allowed. Yeah. Awesome. And, and in 2019 and 2020, people were surprised to walk through downtown and discover these huge murals uh, suddenly appear done by you and assisted by friends in the art community um, here. What, what's the story on that? Uh, um, well, it depends which one, but the, the Augusta I Love You mural, if that's one you're refer referring to, yes. that building had a lot of graffiti on it, and um, Shashir at Tire City, who made the mug, um, was like, would you want to paint something on this? And I'm like, well, this wall needs some love, so, that's, so then Augusta I Love You was born from that. But a group of us, um, just over a couple of weekends, got that painted. So that was, um, <coughs> and then the building got bought, because it was empty, vacant at the time, and um, I was concerned that it was going to get painted over. The, the new owners asked me to repaint it, so, so yeah, so it got a fresh coat. But yeah. I love seeing those murals too, and of course the happy face. So the story is being shown again. We want to let everyone know for free. It's going to be followed by that live Q and A. How did the idea, you know, just kind of stem? From the movie or the, for the, for the yes, for uh, the movie. Um, well, um, Michael McKinley, he uh, saw my TED talk, and uh, so he contacted me to see if I'd be interested in um, having my story told. And it was kind of funny because I was like, "Do I have to be in it?" Because that, well, that was the first because you know this makes me nervous. So, but um, but I felt it was a story worth sharing because if my story could help anybody, mm -hmm. then I'd be stupid to not do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. where, where can people go to find more information? the movie and um, um, they can go to the um, Augusta um, University website which is Augusta.edu uh, and look up the Maxwell Theater and it has more information there and then um, I believe also my website which is make my pork chop all one sentence dot com uh, has the same information so and I would say if you have any kind of social media there seems to have been a push <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, which means you are nice. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's free admission too. Watch the movie. It is. Yeah. You mentioned that too. Exactly. And if you are interested, again, that date is on the 23rd, 7 o'clock, Augusta University Maxwell Theater. Again, free admission. We do want to put that out there. But thank you both for what you're thank doing. You. And I hope you continue on. Okay. Uh, I don't see it stopping anytime soon. All right. I think <laughs> making us happy. Yeah. <laughs> thank you.